Synonyms are words that mean the same thing. Almost. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Except it's not that easy or simple. <laughs> See what I mean? Okay. Let's look at an easy, simple word like big. Think about big. A synonym for big is large. The things that make synonyms different are hard to pin down, but they are there. Large and small and medium are often used to describe the size of things we buy. If you go to the store to buy a shirt and try on a medium-sized shirt and then ask for something bigger, you will be given a large. See what I mean? You ask for something bigger, but what you get is large, not big. The words mean the same thing, but we don't use them exactly the same way. There are limits to what is and isn't to say them, and of course, it's hard to say what those are too. Is tall a synonym for big? I would say no. Tall talks about size, but only one aspect of size. And I think big, big is bigger than that. And now, Thanks to Starbucks, tall also means small. Having Starbucks bring their branding and their English to the world is going to make things just a little crazy. But maybe it's a good crazy. And I have a solution. When I order a coffee, instead of using their special words, I say, please give me the largest size. That solves the synonym problem, but now you have to know about comparatives and superlatives. Sorry. Maybe we should just call the whole thing the English problem. <laughs> and good luck with that. <laughs>